Well, it took me about three years, but I finally bit the bullet and got me a new finish mower um, to go behind the tractor. I ended up getting a seven foot one. I think that's a good size for the 50 horsepower tractor I got. I currently have a, a six foot one and it's just beat all to immortal hell. It was wore out when I got it, but I didn't pay but like 200 bucks for it. And uh, it's finally about, I'll go over there and show you in just a second. But I picked this one up yesterday. I, I got some prices on some of the better brand names one. The uh, Woods and King Cutter and the, the nicer ones. And I kind of got my feelings hurt. I knew they were going to be expensive. But I just couldn't spend over $4,000 for a for a nice finish mower. So I ended up going with, uh, it's called an AgMate. It's an estate mower. They sell them in Agri Supply. Um, it was about half the price of everything else i figured well hell i'll give it a try it comes with a year warranty if i break crack rip off anything they'll fix it or replace it so i uh i figured that was good enough i'm gonna break it i'll i'll break it within that so but yeah it takes like seven hours of non-stop mowing to cut all of the grass out here on the farm and uh that's just open pasture and everything not even including all the bush hogging and mowing around the ponds and everything so I, I wanted to try to that's with a six foot mower i wanted to try to maybe speed that up a little bit i was thinking about getting an eight foot mower but i figured it would hang past the tractor so much i would end up running into a tree or something and that needs to go back in there look at that already finding things let's see if i can do this one-handed without smashing my thumb There we go. Got all of the other four ones. But I mean, it, all in all, it looks like a decent mower. It's got the, the rear discharge on it. You can actually grease everything on it. You can grease uh, where it pivots and then the wheels. I'm pretty sure you'd have to take these covers off. And I may go ahead and do that to make sure you can grease the spindles and everything. But uh, as far as I can see, every, I like everything on it. The only thing I don't like is... It's just these two bolts, that's all that holds the mower deck on. I can foresee this end up having to get welded on after it starts to break off or something. But, uh, like I said, it's got a scalping roller there in the center, so hopefully you won't scalp too much with it. I about got all the, everything graded out with the old one. <laughs> Boy, that thing has cut some dirt. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to get the tractor, get this hooked up and uh give it a whirl see how i like it here's the old one i was telling you about uh they say it's probably the older as i am it's a bevco it's a six foot one um it was wore out when i got it and i've used it and most of the yeah all the about all the shims have fallen off the i'll be going and then i look back and wanted to wheels is missing i'll have to go back and find it i've run over one of them or so i think i took the guards off of it just so i could keep everything cleaned off on it but it's just cracking it's been welded up good and it's the whole deck is is splitting in half again and it's been it's been worked hard i've used it for a bush hog and everything but I, i'm gonna tell you what's true that is probably one of the best belts i've ever seen because i got that 40 horsepower four tractor and i have been cutting grass so thick that that has choked it off at like 1800 rpm and killed the tractor <laughs> that's a strong damn belt but all the the little metal under there that the blades you know it's got the little whatever the hell you call them round things that the grass cuts um that it keeps it from moving in between the blades all that's been ripped off and everything so it, it kind of leaves a little bit in between the the blades because it's got three blades on it and then uh that spindle wore out and that's like the most impossible nut to find and the new spindle i got did not come with a nut and the other one was welded on so that one is like completely wrung on there with the wrench where it won't come off and of course i can't even grease it so i'm just waiting for i was just waiting for that 
but I didn't pay with 200 bucks for it. It's worked good. And actually, I'm going to go use it. I got a little bit more mowing around a pond to do. Uh, I've kind of let it go, and I need to I need to mow the bank. I don't feel like weed whacking, so I'm going to use the tractor. And if I can find a spot to put the camera that'll stick, everything's plastic, but if I can find a spot to put the camera, I'll get a little video doing a little mowing. Then we'll go get the new one hooked up. So yeah, I just didn't have the heart to take a brand new mower and try to back down and mow the, the edge of that pond up front here. So I'm going to use the old one I got real quick. Everything I try to do, I try to uh, make my life easier and get things done quicker. So that's the logic behind getting a new mower. And uh, being too lazy to weed whack. I mean, why weed whack when you can use the tractor and get six foot every pass? That's my logic at least. Let's see how well it works. Like I said, I just didn't have the heart to take the new mower and do that, and I didn't feel like putting it back on. So yeah, I got that beat down, what I could mow right there. I'll have to weed whack the rest, but that saved me a little bit of time. Let's go take this old hunk of crap off and put the new one on and give it a whirl. Now that I'm done with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one and uh, get lined up and hook the new mower up.
I went ahead and took a minute to completely kind of take this thing apart and kind of go over it first to make sure I kind of fully understand how everything worked. And I, everything else was greased, but I went ahead and greased the uh, PTO shaft because it looked like it had never been greased. And I wanted to uh, grease these spindles until I discovered that they are non-greasable. So I guess uh, I guess I really don't have to worry about trying to. Uh, I was trying to figure out how in the world you grease that one, and then I discovered you don't grease it at all. So I'm sure that'll last until it wears out. But uh, yeah, I took the pan. I honestly, I'll probably. Well, now that you can't grease it, I'll probably just put the cover back on. But I de I despise these covers. They get all in the way. And I went ahead and checked the oil in the gearbox and got it filled up. There's actually a little sight glass right there, but you couldn't see it because of the cover. It's got the little holes, but that's so you can access it with the grease gun, and therefore you could not see the little window to see if there was a gear oil in there or not. So I ended up with just taking the cover off to check it out. So, everything should be good to go on it. I'm going to put the covers back on and hook it up.
cut that shit off. You don't need that stupid shit. I gotta level this thing up a little bit. Now it's all hooked up, as you can tell in the video, that stupid ass safety chain they got on the PTO shaft cover was giving me a fit, and you can never get them hooked up tight, and all they do is flop around and beat the crap out of everything, so I'll put a couple zip ties on it, maybe that'll save it from me getting pissed off and ripping all that off. So, um, you notice when I was lifting it up, I had to lift it up several times, I didn't notice they didn't have these bolts here for the adjustment tight so i ended up just running it all the way to the end that way um it can't never i mean let's face it it, it beats and bangs around it's gonna slide all the way to the end regardless so i went ahead and let it go all the way to the end and tighten those up so i should be ready to go now everything's checked over i'm gonna make a few random passes across the field here and just see what it looks like Let's do a review now. 
I've just made one pass. It seems like it cut pretty good. As crooked as it can be because I was looking backwards instead of going forwards. Looking forward. Let's see if we can film going backwards here. The sun's shining pretty good. I'm probably missing a lot so I'm not looking. All in all, it seems okay. They made a little bit of a weird noise there when I first started it up, but it seems to be cutting the grass at a pretty decent height. Think that'll work okay. Maybe that being a little bit bigger will start, maybe it'll cut my mowing time into six hours instead of seven. I think there's 17 acres of grass out here now. 17, 18. Yeah, it takes a while. Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching.